Good morning, GMS. I'm Lillian. And I'm Eli. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of April 4th, 2022. Hope you all had a great spring break. Summer break is up next starting on May 26th, 2022. Remember, if you have two or more Fs in your third nine weeks grade, then you will no longer be able to participate in extracurricular activities. If your child needs to leave early, please write a note that indicates what time you need to leave. Your child will need to take the note to the front office before school starts in order to get a pass for class. Students, please do not remove the blue logo or the rubber feet on your school-issued Chromebook protected covers that makes the insurance null and void. Lastly, remember that shorts and skirts must be fingertip length, with or without tights or socks. And shirts must have at least a half sleeves that are, fing that are four fingers long. Also, this dress code does apply during extracurricular activities. Thank you for your cooperation. Now let's go to the interview of the week and top trending. Have a great week, everybody. Remember to stay safe. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Adeline. And I'm Lincoln. Let's get started with number three. According to Dago News, a sequence of five hands and footprints were found near Kwasang in Tibet. Researchers believe that the handprints belong to a 12-year-old while the footprints belong to a 7-year-old. David Zhang, a scientist at China's Guangzhou University, did an analysis with his team determined that the art panel was created between 169,000 and 226,000 years ago in the Ice Age. Number two, according to UPI, a North Carolina woman said that her pet guinea pig unofficially set a Guinness World Record by performing more than 14 tricks in one minute. Gwen Ford said that her guinea pig, Coco, attempt attempted a world record for most tricks performed by a guinea pig in one minute. Ford said that there, are currently no, there is currently no record holder in the category. So, the organization set a minimum goal of 14 tricks for setting a record. Coco will most likely retire from tricks for now, but Ford was very happy that he completed this last goal. Number one, according to Doggo News, in October of 2020, a group of Rye Junior High students set a, set a around five foot long boat in New Hampshire to sail. Some hoped that the boat washed ashore in Europe. Others believe that the small boat got destroyed on the way. The boat named Rye Riptides washed up in Norway on February 1st, 2022. The small fiberglass boat caught the attention of 6th grader Carol Nunkick, with who with his parents traveled to retrieve the boat. Both the deck and the cargo remained intact. So after scraping off the barnacles, he took it home to explore with his classmates. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week, GMS. Welcome to the GMS News Show interview of the week. I'm Abe Mendoza here with the eighth grade language arts teacher, Mrs. Pate. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? Um, I'm also great. Good. Thank you. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I have been teaching for, this is my 17th year of teaching. It's my third year at GMS. Um, I have taught second grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, and now I teach eighth grade, and it's by far my favorite. Good. Have you read any good books lately? I have been reading the Unwind series by um, Neil Schusterman. Um, Mrs. Downing, the other eighth grade language arts teacher, got me into that series, and so I've been reading the second book. Um, what's your favorite way to spend your day off? Um, I enjoy spending time with my family, doing any kind of outdoor activity. Um, so I'm super excited that it's getting warmer outside right now. Finally, do you think that pineapple belongs on pizza? Do I think pineapple belongs on pizza? Um, I would eat it. I probably wouldn't order it, but if somebody put it in front of me, I would probably eat it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not too picky. Thank you for coming on our show today, Mrs. Pate. Have a great week. Thank you so much.
Hello, my name is Costin, and this is my Stossel in the Classroom presentation. For my presentation, I chose to hashtag Me Too. Hashtag Me Too is a social movement against sexual abuse and sexual assault where people publicize sex crime allegations. Now that we know what hashtag Me Too is, let's talk about the benefits and the harms of this movement. A pro is how easy it is for sexual assault victims to get their stories told and shared that way they can get the proper help and support they need. And one of the main reasons that the Me Too community is so accessible is because it's a very prevalent force online, which is a pro in itself. And mainly because it makes us socially conscious of sexual harassment and systematic gender discrimination. It also creates a culture of accountability for predators who abuse their power. The Me Too movement has always been an ally of the women's rights community, and this causes us to challenge traditional gender roles, especially when it comes to the expense of women. Now that we talked about the pros, let's look at the negative effects that the Me Too movement has had. The Me Too movement is too individualistic, it's more concerned with punishing individuals, as opposed to systematic or structural change or reform. In other words, it's being used more to punish people than it is actually to give help to those who need it. Another con of the Me Too movement is that it pits victims' rights against due process, thus weaponizing allegations of sexual assault or abuse which means anybody can spread false rumors and accusations and ruin an innocent person's career. A good example of this is Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Amber Heard accused Johnny Depp of abuse and pretty much put an end to his acting career, and it later found out that all the evidence of abuse was faked by Amber Heard. But she did get what she deserved later on by getting fired from one of her biggest roles in the Justice League movie. The Me Too movement also struggles with equality. What I mean by this is most upper and middle class white women usually get their voices heard, which overlooks working class women of color. My take on it is that it's overall a good movement with great potential, but really struggles with people abusing it. 